what's up? I'm Devin LeVake. I would say I'm an entrepreneur. I don't know, I just try to put puzzle pieces together every day and have a good time with it. I grew up in New Hampshire. I grew up on a farm. We had about seven horses, we had a cow. I was always told like, never have your hands in your pocket. There was always something to do. Health plays a massive role in my life. I used to be in the restaurant industry for a while and that's just because I love hospitality. I love serving people and just like giving people a really good time. But then getting out of the restaurant industry maybe like four or five years ago, I, I realized that I loved health and wellness more than restaurants. And so I started to pursue it. A couple of my videos started to go viral. Brands were reaching out. I'm naturally a very ambitious person. I'm like very curious. I, I want to, I, I always want to do more. I wanted to go like, much deeper than just throwing photos up and like recommending something. I, I wanted to really bring awareness to something and that awareness was suicide prevention um, and mental health. My father took his life when I was 16 years old and it was like the hardest thing I've ever gone through in my whole life and, and I was never able to really control that situation whatsoever. And so my thought was if I can bring attention to it and I can bring awareness to it, there has to be foundations out there um, that can kind of help out so another 16 year old doesn't have to go through the same thing I did. And so my idea was I want to do the craziest thing that anyone could possibly think of that would bring the most attention. And with that, it was bear crawling a marathon. So for 12 months, I would wake up at around 3 a.m., go out to a football field, do about 10, 15, 20 laps around the field. It would usually take three, four, five hours um, and then go on throughout my day. It was always in the back of my head like, what if I don't make it, right? The day of something kicked in where I was just like, I don't care what happens, I'm finishing this motherfucker. I just went in with a very non-negotiable mentality. You need to understand a fourth quarter mentality. And a fourth quarter mentality is simply Sometimes you have to support that person. Sometimes you need to stay away. Uh, sometimes, you know, they, they need uh, complete silence, you know? Like, a fourth quarter mentality for everyone is different. And so I didn't want to risk not having fourth quarter mentality people. And started at 5 p.m. on Friday, uh, went through the night. I threw up about 57 times. We finally get to Central Park. And uh, those 20 people then turned into 40 people, and then 60 and then 90, and then every time I would crawl and look up, there was just 10 more people. I ended up finishing in 20 hours, 48 minutes, so we ended up raising half a million dollars total, and we brought not a couple eyeballs, but half a billion eyeballs to suicide awareness and mental health. And I didn't really know what was next, you know? I want to go into a challenge that I'm super new to, vulnerable about, I can learn, I can educate myself, and hopefully prove to humans throughout the world that you don't need to be a, an expert to just to go out and do something. There is so much education out there and there's so much opportunity and there's, there's so many resources out in the world that you can literally do whatever you want. And so I'm choosing to climb to the highest point on every continent in the world, starting with Kilimanjaro in December. Um, and the premise behind that is why not? There's just always things to do in this world. Like this world is not small. This world is massive and there's so many places to go. And I think I just like to always be on, why not? Put out as much positive energy into the world as you possibly can. And just keep that in the back of your mind, like how can I be positive today? How can I help others? And you're always gonna get that back. Take as many opportunities as you can. It's like there's no reason, there's, there's the power of no, yes, but take as many opportunities as you can because you don't want to regret it.